What's going on guys? Welcome back. It is Mystery Box Monday and today we're going to do something a little bit different. What we're going to be doing is, put that aside, we are going to go a little bit crazy and open a few 10 packs. So, last week we saw that one of these packs has an error car in it. So in the box here, I actually have my error cars. So which way will we do this? Shall we go error car first and then some 10 packs or do some 10 packs and then get into a little bit of a look at my error collection? I will go, doo -doo 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 -doo. we'll just go the 10 packs because there's quite a few of them. Get this a little bit closer. This one here has a nice little selection of cars. These are all the ones from last week. This was an extra pack that I couldn't reach last week when I was trying to do the video. It was too far out of my arm stretch to actually get to it for this video, or last week's video I should say. So. We'll see if there's a way of opening this without completely destroying it. And it doesn't look like it's going to work. No, I'm just I'm just destroying this. I'm trying to be gentle, but yeah. That glue is really strong. Alright, 10 pack number one for the mystery box Monday. Alright. Let's just get, get them out, starting with this one. This is the Ad Cadillac ATS VR in nice white enamel. Good details on the side. Nice racing theme to this one. Lensed headlights, Cadillac logo on the front there. Blue windows. No rear detailing, but still not a bad car. And because we have a lot of cars, I'm going to have to be going extremely quick. So here we have a Porsche in blue, nice metallic blue, with the lensed headlights. Oh wait, no, those are painted headlights. They looked, they really looked like they were lensed for a second then. Logo on the front. Grey 10 spoke wheels. Bit of tamp on the side. Pretty cool. Give a look at the base there. The Porsche Cayman S. Pretty nice. Actually do quite like that. We'll save this one to last because this was the exclusive from the pack. Although there are going to be more exclusive cars in these packs. Here we have the beautiful Hudson Hornet. With this blue and yellow flame paint job. D. Watson, number 28. Such an awesome, awesome, awesome casting, this one. Really, really do like the Hudson Hornet. And I'm probably going to end up wheel swapping one of these because, as you will see, there's a couple of them in these 10 packs. So I think I'll have three in total by the end. Up next is a Porsche. 911 GT2 with gold chrome on these wheels. I think these are a J5, Y5 or a J5, not entirely sure. These definitely have got lensed headlights, Porsche logo, racing stripe, all the way over the top. This one also has the rear detail. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. It's the best part about getting lensed headlights. It means that you're most likely going to get rear tempos. And I actually already had one. So, got a double. No problem with that. Up next, we've got the Porsche C7Z06 convertible. Nice red paint job. 
painted headlights, Porsche logo on the front, racing stripes, very nice. And you also get the rear detail. Nice close up look of this. I have to admit, I really like getting the rear detail in cars. Well, that technically passes as a full detailed car to me because it has the front and rear. And actually, already also had one of those. Yes, I did put a, a couple of, along the side here next to me just because I already knew that I was going to open these and I already had them. Now we have the Mustang. Is this the Boss? Ah, the Mark 1. Mustang Mark 1. I think this one here is also a multi-plaque exclusive car. I love this. The rear louvers on the back, they look great. This is a really nice casting. In silver. Kind of a, a greyish silver. Blue and black tampos along the side there. Kind of a racing racing theme. Very cool. Up next, we've got the little Ford Fiesta. Is it? Yep, 2012 Ford Fiesta. In kind of like a Hot Wheels racing theme. Kind of a, uh, I don't know, a copper kind of colour, a metallic copper, lensed headlights, nice detail, looks really cool actually. These wheels look nice as well. Nice looking car. Uh, next, it's one of the main reasons why I bought the pack, was for this I love these kinds of Corvettes, the old Stingrays, 4 2, as I say, 327? Yeah, I thought they were a 427. Oh, well, not, not a problem to me. It's great. This car is actually purple, a nice deep dark metallic purple, although it does look a little bit more blue. Purple rim on the ring, on the wheels there. Classic styling with the tampos. What a beautiful car. So cool. Love to own one of these in real life, but I could I don't think I'd ever be able to afford one to be honest. So cool. So so cool. And the last car before we get to the exclusive is a Dodge Viper. And yes, I love my Vipers also. Very, very cool car. This is the uh, RT10, maybe? Ah, uh, just says Viper. 2013 Viper. I think it's the RT10. Either way, so cool. Nice red interior in this one. And here we go, the multi-pack exclusive Ford Mustang in the Goodyear livery, well, it's got Goodyear on it, number five, in a nice baby blue, well, it's not really baby blue, it's a very, very nice mid blue, I guess you would call it. This one does not have an actual name on it, but I think it's the 2005 Mustang. I'm not entirely sure, you'll have to correct me. And there we go. That's one. Done. And then, we get onto this one. This is the reason why I bought it, right here. It's the main reason why I bought it, although couple more that's a, going to be another double for my collection there we go there's another Hudson Hornet and 
got to be really quick. If I can even open it. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the Hudson Hornet because we have just seen it on the last box. And we'll also remove the Viper because we just had a look at that one also. Very cool. And there we go. There's the last eight cars. Let's get into it. First up is the Ford Escort RS1600. In black with all the gumball and rally details that you could ever want. Really like this, such a cool car, and <clears throat> already already opened one a couple of days ago, or a couple of weeks ago, I should say. Put that down there, and I'm going to go this one first, the Z Rod. I know it's a fantasy casting, but it's a really good one. I quite like this. I only have a couple of them in my collection. I don't actually buy them deliberately, but I've gotten a few out of multi packs before. And pipes out the side. It's just a really cool car. You see the shape. There's the Z there, or the Z, however you'd like to pronounce it. Up next, we have got the Audi Quattro in green. This one also with the rally detailing on the side. Number four with your racing aero wheels. Lensed headlights. Are they? No. Man, they're doing a really good job of headlights these days. They really do look like they're, they're actually lensed. Anyway, you've got your Audi logo. You've got this little vent thingy. Whatever that thing is there. Very cool. Also available in white. I don't have a the white one handy to show, but the green looks really nice. Actually, I do I do have a the white version handy, but it's actually in this box. So, you'll have to wait a few more minutes. Anyway, let's crack on. The red Ford GT40. Painted headlights, racing tampos. Really nice gold wheels. They look like the FTE wheels. I think they're just OH5s. But they are amongst my favourite looking wheels. Very cool. Put that one up there. Next we've got the Porsche Speedster 356 I think. 356A Outlaw. Very nice in red, number 50. Like these steely wheels, these look fantastic. But this is a really awesome casting if you ask me. I really do quite quite like this particular Porsche. Next, we'll go for the Mazda RX-7. These gold lace wheels, which are actually really do suit this car. They do look like a period correct Simmons wheel. Got your Coney Mazda details on the side. Nice racing stripe. Coney Mazda. Such a cool casting. This will go great with my RX-7 collection. And next up we're just going to go for nice Dodge Challenger in a really nice what? Don't drop it. In a nice deep blue. It's trying to drive out of my hands there. Love those steely wheels. They look great. I'd love to get one of these as a premium. I think this would be really nice with all of the details all over it. And some nice premium real, real rider wheels. And then we have the exclusive out of the pack. We've got another Corvette, 
once again with these lacy snowflakey style wheels. This one's in a more of a, a a light copper than the last copper car up the back there. This one's got a chrome interior, painted details on the front. No rear detail on the no rear painted details on the back, but it does have license plate plus the area for detail for exhausts. Two thousand nine Corvette ZR one. All right, that's two packs down. Let's get into pack number three. And I'll try and get this one open as quickly as possible because I know that time's already getting on. Already been recording for a long time. So here we have a couple of extras again. We will pull out the Porsche Cayman, pull out the Mustang Mark 1, and then we can get on to the rest of the cars, starting with the El Camino. 71 El Camino. Love the steely wheels. This is in a satin, I don't know, satin red, I guess you could call it, but it's kind of got a bit of a bronze colour to it. Nice flames on the side. Very cool car. I think this one is from the Flames series. That's cool. If I lived in the States, I'd own one of these. Definitely. Or a Ford Ranchero, one of the old school the old school Utes. Up next, we've got, is this one? It's not going to tell me either. So, I'm not going to guess because it could be anything. We don't get these cars in Australia, so I don't want to embarrass myself by trying to guess it. But it's got nice details on it. It looks like a Ford Fairlane to me, but I don't want to guess wrong, so I'll leave it up to everybody else to tell me what that one is. And we'll get up to the Honda CRX in a nice matte black, kind of like your Jamaican colours. OH5 with a green chrome trim. Nice racing styling to it. Red splitter. Black interior. Such a cool little car this one. Is that the engine in the back there? It looks like there's an engine in the back. I'll have to leave leave that one to you guys as well to tell me what's going on with that. But as far as I know, I always thought that they were a, a front engine car. Next, we've got the Honda NSX. Also in a kind of copper color. So many copper colored cars lately. A bit of tampo on the side there, a little bit of a grey, dark grey or a brown striping along the side. Very cool car. Got your detail on the back. And up next we have got the Dodge Challenger. Dodge Charger. My mistake, in black, with your Mopar details on the side, Mopar livery. Very cool, blue windows, grey wheels. Such a cool car. I wish we had more of these in Australia. I've only seen maybe three or four of these in real life. Next, we'll go for the Midnight Auto. Another very, very cool hot rod casting. 
and also in a copper color <laughs> with kind of a brown wheel love the flames on it though kind of have to have flames on a car like this if you ask me there's the base for everybody so cool love these kinds of cars and next we've got another car which I've also opened up recently so I do actually have one of these open I just can't seem to find where I've placed it it'll be on a shelf somewhere but this is the Copo Camaro in white with some black and blue and silver details along the side different style wheeling on the rear but a great car great casting another very cool car nineteen sixty eight Copo Camaro and the last car out of the pack the exclusive is the Datsun 240 240Z nice metallic blue it's actually darker in real life than what it shows in the camera have Datsun on the roof there it would be nice to see this one with a little bit more detail on the on the rear some detail on the headlights also on the front there but all in all a very very cool car and then we have got box number three this is the one which everybody mostly wanted to look at so let's get into it all right try and open this one fast we'll have to pull out the doubles out of this one also so we'll say goodbye to the Porsche that makes number three for me pull out the other Porsche Cayman that also makes three of those for me and we'll pull out the NSX and the CRX and the third Hudson Hornet which will one of these will end up with real riders some nice real riders on there okay well that just brings us down to five cars for this multi-pack it's unfortunate that I have so many extras now but they are up for trade if anybody wants them send me an email here we have the uh, Formula One race car doesn't actually say what this is but it's a Formula One racer of some description in red <laughs> and we'll go for we'll go for this one first you would have seen this one maybe two three weeks ago now the Volkswagen Caddy in lime green skateboard in the back Volkswagen logo on the side very cool car got the front mount intercooler very cool there's the one from the other week Then we will go for the Porsche. Let's go for the Porsche. I needed this one for my collection. What's that on there? Ah, nothing. Bit of cardboard, possibly. Painted lights. Porsche logo. White five spoke wheels. Star wheels, whatever you like to call them. Nice rear detail. Porsche Carrera 1995 96 Porsche Carrera but that blue suits this car very nicely then up next we will look at the Lamborghini is this one a Gallardo? yep LP560-4 
and probably the only time these wheels actually suit a car is on a Lamborghini or something like this. I'm not. A, I'm just. I'm just not personally a big fan of these wheels. That's just me, though. I know a lot of you probably do like them. Got your good Lamborghini detail on the back there. Painted rear lights. Just looks really cool. Painted la painted headlights and a Lamborghini logo on the front. This is kind of in a metallic pearl yellow, and there's a slight bit of gold to that. I don't know if you can see it, but it does have a little bit of gold tinge. So, buy the pack and find it and check it out yourself. And the last car, the main reason why I bought the pack, this was the only pack I could find which actually had this in here. This is the Dodge Demon. 1971 Dodge Demon. I just had to get this one. I just, I just couldn't pass it up. That's why I already knew that I had a lot of the cars in these packs, so kind of had to buy the whole pack just for this one car, but it, the pack was only $10, so it was a good deal, and I'm probably going to end up buying another one full of cars that I've already got just to get another one of these, because I just think that's a really nice car, the colour, that's all the tempos on it, it's very period correct, which is one of the things that I really like. I like everything to be in its true style, I guess you could say. And there we go. Four multi-packs in one go. This is going to be a very long episode. But don't worry, we're not going to open this. As you can see, I now have three of these. But this pack will not be getting opened purely because of the error. It's supposed to have Hot Wheels racing livery along the side there. So unfortunately, this is the best we can do. So there you have the Ford Shelby Super Snake from the Hot Wheels race team. Very cool hot rod, fantasy car, Escort, another fantasy car. Really cool bone shaker actually. I will be buying another one of these multi-packs just to get this car. There we have the uh, Steve Caballero 32 Ford. This is the multi-pack exclusive, which is the same as the blue one. It's identical to the blue one, but this one is in a metallic pearl green. But it's essentially exactly the same. Another fantasy car. That's the MR11. And there you go. The multi-pack that I can't open purely because of that. Because if I open it, no one will ever know that it's a genuine error. So, that stays there. And then, we get on to the mystery box. But, because I wanted to keep with the, the, kind of like the error theme, I thought I would show off my own error collection. This is the Magnus Walker Urban Outlaw Porsche. As you can see, there's all the livery and decals along the side there. But this one is blank. So I thought that was very cool when I found that. I noticed it instantly. I was like, hang on, why hasn't that one got the uh, tempos on the side? So I had to buy that. And then this one here I also noticed because there was one exactly this, uh, one of the same car with the tampos along it right next to it so I was able to compare this one instantly in the store as well it's also missing the tampo off the side as you can see that's what the tampo would look like very cool this one's a very funny one can you tell me what's wrong with this car? any idea? the fact that maybe it's missing Missing some metal there. As you can see, there's a big piece of metal missing out of the side of this Volkswagen. So, once again, another very cool error find. This one here I thought was very funny. This is the Mountain Mauler. Nothing wrong with the car. Nothing wrong with the car, no differences there. 
although this one comes with an extra set of seating just in case you want to take your mates along so I don't know where you'd attach the second set of seats to but there's an extra interior there just in case you want it and this one here I only found this one the other day also can you tell me what's wrong with this car you can't really tell from this picture unfortunately but there's supposed to be a number one in the little circle there you can kind of see it right there it's supposed to say number one so that was a another error find recently and then also a couple of days earlier before that is the 1984 Audi Sport Quattro missing a few tempos as you see it's supposed to have all these red tempos along the side this one is in white just plain white you can kind of see that there's a reflection of red on the side there because there is tampos along that side so there you go nice base white Audi and the last error find is actually a card error this is the 1929 Ford pickup it's supposed to be this car yet it has this big giant Ford F-150 in it so there you go it's what you get good work Mattel your quality control is awesome so I hope you enjoyed that I'm going to just lay these down here next Monday we will have kind of kind of like a haul video I would say I'm going to just show off what I was able to find at the collector's convention I went to yesterday. It was a very small convention, very expensive. Aside from the pricing, it was a really good event. Nothing like I've seen in some of the overseas events. Uh, it was very small in comparison, but yeah, they had some really, really nice cars. I just couldn't afford it for the life of me. Anyway, I'll stop rambling and hope that the next convention I go to is much better. Hopefully I'll be able to find some better deals. Until next week, I hope you're out there finding cool stuff to add to your collections without spending too much. And I will see you 